I'm Manuel Hernandez and welcome to Norwich City Centre. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Centre. I hope you're all doing well. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me and I'm feeling good and it's also a new Norwich City season. I had to go into a bit of Michael Bublé there, of course, Norwich City have signed the Spanish Michael Bublé in Javi Quantilla. Um, hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central, hope you're all doing well. We're back, match previews, match reviews are back, Norwich City are back in action in the 2020-2021 season, hoping to get promoted at the first time of asking. And um, If you are new to Norwich City Central, please consider subscribing, this is the second biggest Norwich City fan channel, which still blows my mind, so thank you for all your support. This is my fourth season now running Norwich City Central. Um, Daniel Farkas also this is also Daniel Farkas going into his fourth Norwich City season um, yeah I want to thank everyone for their support I really do appreciate it and the, in terms of what's coming up this season match reviews match previews and hopefully um, live streams and match day experiences has come to what uh, to come as well so it's going to be a little bit of a step up this year in terms of content and i'm really looking forward to bringing you guys content and really looking forward to hearing your opinions uh, and, and getting you guys on board with the channel as well so please do consider subscribing for all of that as well as that and um, hoping to bring in some podcasts as well so really trying to step up the game in terms of this season i'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section in terms of what you'd like to see improved on the channel i'd love to hear some constructive feedback in terms of what you want to see on a Norwich City fan channel because at the end of the day this is a fan channel and this is about bringing the best content for you so I'd love to hear your thoughts down below um, but yeah talking uh, as, as always in terms of previews and predicted XI I like to talk about the opposition and then I like to talk about Norwich and then finish with a predicted XI um, and some score predictions as well I'd love to hear your thoughts going into this game and yeah Norwich City start their season in the Carabao Cup first round up against Luton it would have been a beautiful away day wouldn't it guys unfortunately and that can't go ahead um, and hopefully you know we can get to full capacity as, as the season kind of resumes and um, towards the end of the season but yeah Luton talking a bit about Luton firstly I think Luton have got two or three international players um, on duty Norwich City have 16 so that shows all that you need to know um, but Luton managed by Nathan Jones are a really really good team um, a team I really admire as well of course are bigger than Ipswich um, I mean a lot of teams are bigger than Ipswich these days but no I really do have a lot of respect for Luton they're kind of a small fish in the big pond in, in the championship but managed by Nathan Jones play decent style of football and, and managed to stay up on the final day as well which is always nice to see um, Luton as well in pre-season did really well keeping a lot of clean sheets and winning every single game so Luton are going to the season full of confidence looking to kind of have another underdog story and I can see Luton surviving again now with Nathan Jones at the helm and yeah they've got a really good squad a really talented squad and um, yeah I, I think they could do really good really, really good things this season um in terms of Norwich, 16 players out. Um, it's going to be a very interesting predicted XI and there's going to be a few surprise players in the lineup. But yeah, I think in terms of Norwich City, we're going into the season quite confident. Of course, Norwich City are on their worst run in their 118 year history. And we, you know, we've got to remember, you know, perhaps Daniel Farker's tactics and, and the poor recruitment. But at the end of the day, I think Farker and Weber are the right people for the club. I look at the recruitment and I see, you know, I, I think we've had one of the best kind of transfer windows at the whole championship we've massively improved our squad we've got a much better squad than we did in the Premier League um, a lot of attacking talent still maybe a couple of players short in the defensive areas but a really talented squad and Norwich City should be pushing for promotion this season and, and, and these kind of promotion hopes are always fun in terms of the Carabao Cup this is probably Norwich City have not got much interest of course we always like to see you always like to see the team do well in, in terms of a cup run um, but, you know, we're playing the first round of the Carabao Cup here. This isn't our priority. Our priority is returning to the Premier League. In terms of a predicted XI in goal, I don't. I didn't know his name at the start of the season. I'm sure you guys didn't really know his name. But in goal, it's going to be Dan Barden. Tim Krull and Michael McGovern are both on international duty. So, therefore, Dan Barden will play. Interesting one. Welsh under-19 goalkeeper. Did very well in pre-season. Looks good, good, good on his feet. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him play. And yeah, look, if he has a good game, he might even become our second choice goalkeeper. Um, I like the look of him. So yeah, he, he's going to be in goal. And yeah, best of luck to the young lad. A back four for me of Quinn Taylor, uh, Christoph Zimmerman, Tim Closer and um, Bally Mumba. Uh, in terms of the left back, left back Quinn Taylor, of course, the Michael Bubele lookalike. Um, I think he could be a really good player. Signed from Villarreal, um, comes in with good pedigree from La Liga. An attacking fullback as well. I wish him all the best. And he could potentially be a replacement for Jamal Lewis if he goes to Leicester. The centre-backs, Crystal Zimmerman and Tim Closer. Zimmerman, a leader. 
was our second best player in the championship, according to the fans. What a guy. Um, and Tim Close as well. For me, he's our fourth choice centre-back. I think Ben Grant and Christoph are all better than him. And with Tim, it's a funny one because I don't think he's going to be particularly be too happy being fourth or fifth choice centre-back. But at the end of the day, that's where he is in the packing order. And Norris City still needs to sign another centre-back. We need to be going into the season with at least five centre-backs. And I'm not sure Tim Close is going to be happy being the fourth or fifth choice centre-back. But... At the end of the day, I would love to keep Tim closer and have him around the dressing room. He's a good character and a good leader. And also Bally Member as well, going from Tim Closer with experience. Bally Member, 18 years of old from Sunderland. Of course, with Max on international duty and Sam injured, Bally Member's going to have to step up. Um, yeah, I wish him all the best. Obviously, 18 years old, looked really good in pre-season. My one kind of concern with him is his physicality. He's five foot four. And, you know, you can imagine long balls going into the back, into kind of to the back post and Glenn Murray versus Bally Mumba could be an interesting battle. But I like I like the look of Bally Mumba and I wish him well. I think he could, 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 could be a surprise package for Norris City this season. And the two central defensive midfielders, Alex Tetty and Mario Rancic. Alex Tetty, Mr. Reliable. Um, what, what a man. Um, you know, what what a man Alex Tetty is. And um, he's been a great servant for the club. And Mario Rancic for me. If Mario Rancic is benched in this game, considering there's 16 players um, <laughs> on, on international duty and 16 players out, I'm going to be absolutely gutted for him. Um, it'll either be him or Lucas Rip in the middle. But for me, Mario Rancic is still one of our best midfielders. He was our second uh, top goal scorer in the championship. A fantastic footballer and someone who I think should be in around the first team for Norris City next season. Certainly on the bench and kind of coming off and making an impact. In terms of the front three, I imagine Norris City are going to play the 4-2-3-1 formation. I mean, Poirette is on international duty. Buendia is serving at the second game out of his three-game suspension for the red card in the in the Premier League. Um, Daniel Sonali is on international duty for Luxembourg. Todd Cantwell is on international duty. There's a lot of players who are out. Um, but we've still got a few wingers who could potentially have a good impact. Um, so on the left, I would have Onel Hernandez, one of our bright sparks from lockdown. And he's going to be someone of a point to prove. I think he could have a really magical season for Norris City. On the right, Josh Martin was probably our best player in pre-season, 18 years old. Um, yeah, he's got the potential to be a very good player. Um, really like the look of Josh Martin. He could be a, a breakthrough player for Norris City. And through the middle, you've got Stieperman or Kieran Dowell available. For me, Kieran Dowell, I think... I'm hearing reports that we've only signed him for two million, which is an absolute steal. Um, I think Kieran, Kieran Dowell could be a really good player for Norris City. And um, I'd like to see him kind of play against Luton. And up front, Adam Eder's on international duty. Congrats, congratulations to him. Pookie's on international duty. It's going to be Jordan Hugel, described like a hurricane. He can give championship defences a lot of problems. So that's my team. That's my thoughts. Luton are going to be a tough battle. Did really well in pre-season. I've got a lot of confidence. Norris City have got 16 players out. In terms of a score prediction for the game, Saturday, 3 o'clock, I'm going to go Luton 1, Norris City to get off to a winning start, um, getting two goals. 2-1 two, win for Norwich. I'm going to say Jordan Hugel gets his first goal and Kieran Dowell as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section. Thank you for all the support on Norris City Sent Join. But yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' feedback in terms of um, the videos and how you're feeling going into the season. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you later.